this is day whatever of the quarantine as promised in our previous quarantine video where we made the quinine beverage i promised i'd show you what to do with the orange rinds so i hope you enjoyed this little video showing you how to make delicious candy orange peel okay so watch our previous video to see how we get the orange peels to this consistency and it will explain everything you need to know so first of all we're gonna go through and pick out all the seeds and then we're gonna go through and any little stem or whatever you're just gonna chop off and get rid of because you don't want to chomp on that when you're eating a delicious muffin next you're gonna sprinkle a tablespoon of sugar all over these peels and just flip it over and make sure you get them all coated in the sugar and then to mix it you're just gonna chop it. Chopping is gonna do the mixing for you at the same time. Kill two birds, you know, kill two birds. And make sure to breathe really loudly out of your nose, otherwise it won't work. So you can see that nice smooth consistency with still a couple of chunks of orange in there. Once you see that, you know it's done. And then you're just gonna divide this into three piles, three even piles. Save this one for our muffins we're gonna make and then the rest you can just wrap up and stick in the freezer like so and then you always have it available when you want to make some muffins uh, so here's my recipe I'll put it in the description below okay so we're gonna start with our dry ingredients two cups of flour some baking powder powder a baking if you're from the French part of Canada half a cup of sugar and then mix that all together switch over to your wet ingredients make sure to talk to yourself like a weirdo you're gonna do one cup of milk but I was stupid and forgot to do my mom's rule which is put a tablespoon of some kind of acid into the bowl before you pour in the milk because then it does something weird to the milk I'm not sure exactly how it works but it makes the muffins rise better and turn more fluffy so that's a little little hack from my mom next a teaspoon of vanilla but as you can see here I like to go overboard and put about a tablespoon because vanilla is delicious then we're gonna add two eggs delicious it says one in the recipe but it's supposed to be two then you're gonna add a quarter of a cup of some kind of oil doesn't matter what kind whatever kind you have maybe a tiny little bit extra just to make it a little more moist I think I did like an eighth of a cup extra mix that all together and you're ready to start putting it into the muffin tray so you're gonna pour of oil into a container I use a basting brush to paint that right onto the muffin tray some people like to use butter I'm too cheap to waste butter on that but yeah you can use whatever you like or you can even use muffin cups if you have any time to preheat the oven so you're gonna preheat it to 400 degrees and while you're waiting for that heat you pour the liquid mixture into the dry mixture give it a good mixy mixy and then dump your fruits in. You can put any kind of fruit in there, bananas, blueberries, but we're sticking with orange peel today. Quinine for our quinine muffins. Mix it and mix it until you get that good texture that you can see here. Not too wet, not too dry. And we're just gonna plop that right into the muffin tin. So you just grab a blob and just use your finger to push that right out. You can get one of those fancy muffin portioners, but my small percentage of Jew won't allow me to waste money on such a luxury item. When you think you're done, get your silicone spatula because you're going to be able to get almost an entire muffin's worth of extra batter out of here. And then you can just top off whichever ones look a little, a little empty to you. If one looks more full than the other, you can just go ahead and take some out of that spot and put it in the emptier looking one. Don't forget to look from both angles. One of them was less full than the other. Take a wet paper towel and wipe off all the extras that spilled so that they don't burn onto the tin. Well, the yummy is hard at work. Being a cute little cute yummy. Are you excited for your muffins? Mm -hmm. Should I show them what I look like right now? That's a no. 
<laughs> no. By now your oven should be preheated. And you can go ahead and put those muffins right in. Put them right in the middle rack. And set your timer for 20 minutes. About halfway through, you're gonna turn them around just to make sure they're cooking evenly because not all ovens cook evenly. Take it out when it goes off and just poke down. If it doesn't bounce right back up, stick it in for another five minutes. Can't hurt. I think that looks done. Springs up. So this is our muffins after 25 minutes of total cooking. And there you go, look at those, look at those things of beauty. Now we're gonna go eat them. Looks so nice. All right, yummy, time to eat your muffins. Good. Where's the steam? Oh yeah, steam. Butter. Whoa, it's so mushy. It's because secretly we ran out of butter, so I had to use margarine. Don't tell anyone. We're classy. Classy folks. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yummy. <laughs> It's 10.30 a.m. on a, what day is today, Wednesday? On a Wednesday morning here, here in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the baboon's working away, but we thought we'd have a little break. Have some delicious muffins. They go so good with 5.30 a.m. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, kid. Bye.